Hola guys, and today I am going to be doing a Q and A. But first of all, let me tell you why this is on a Wednesday, not a Tuesday. Because I've decided to change my upload day to a Wednesday because it's just easier for me. Because I have cheerleading on a Tuesday and I don't have enough time to film and edit and stuff. So I've decided to change my video day to a Wednesday. So I hope you don't mind that and it's better for you or it's just better for me. So I hope you don't mind that. So anyway, let's get started with the Q&A. Mm -hmm. I'll just unlock my iPod. Got all the screenshots. Number one. This is from um, Hebe. I think that's how you say it. Hebe. Um, what is your favourite Lush product? I don't really go to Lush that much, but of the products I've seen, it's the little um, star one, like the one with a stick with the little streamers coming off it. It's so cute and it's so pretty. I just really like it. So yeah, if I had to buy one, that would be the one I would buy. Number two, what are your favorite books? Right. Now, that is a good question for me because I read so many books. Let me just get them. One of the ones I'm reading right now is again well actually this is like the second time is city of heavenly fire from the mortar instrument series it is 732 pages even more than the last twilight book which is impressive and it's just like the last one from the mortal instrument series there's six so this is the sixth one it's just really really good like i wouldn't change it for anything and the whole books are one of my favourite book series I think they are actually my favourite ones now it's changed it used to be The Hunger Games now it's changed to this because they're just truly amazing and also Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, which is about a girl who goes missing and leaves her best friend a list of I think 13 things to do that she'd never normally do and she has to complete them all by the end of the summer and she completes them in hope of seeing her friend again it's just really good and i really really like it so yeah just read those uh number three what's your favorite tv show at the moment well as some of you probably know as i talk about it in pretty much every other video that i've ever filmed my favourite TV show, Forever and Always, will be Pretty Little Liars. This is a show I watch all the time, and since it's the holidays, I've just pretty much been watching it the whole time. There's nothing I'd rather do. Um, my favourite character is Spencer, and my favourite couple is Spoby, Spencer and Toby, because they're adorable. Um, my least favourite character is probably Alison. Like, I know she's not guilty or anything, but like, she's just an idiot and I don't like her character. And I don't ship her with Emily either. Sorry about that, but yeah, I just really don't. So, yes, that's what you know. My obsession with Pretty Little Liars is unhealthy. Number four. Uh, if you could go anywhere in the world, what, where would it be? Um, at the minute, I'd probably say California. Because I really want to visit, like, the Warner Brothers studio tour. And I would do anything to meet Lucy Hale. She's my idol and I love her so much. But I really like London. So I wouldn't live anywhere else. I'd just like to visit California. Because there's nowhere else I'd rather visit. And I'd want, I've wanted to go there for absolutely ages so there's nowhere I'd rather go number five favorite thing to do on a sunny day I'd probably have to say go swimming outside when it's warm um or go on a picnic picnics are just like one of my favorite things because they're so cute and you can sit down and 
enjoy it do pretty much anything you like in the garden or in the garden or in a park and you can ride your bike and bring the picnic basket along with you and it's just really cute uh, number six what is your favorite sweet well as sweets go I don't really like sweets I only really like chocolate which is worse for you than sweets but anyway my favorite chocolate is um Cadbury's Dime Dairy Milk or Cadbury's Oreo Dairy Milk. Dime is a Swedish chocolate and I'm half Swedish and I just really really like it. It just tastes so good inside the Cadbury's that like you can't not like it really. So yeah that's my favourite chocolate and Oreo because it's just amazing. There's no reason why people shouldn't like it. Number seven what's your holy grail of mascara concealer foundation and eyeliner well my mascara just get it i got this it's the quite new one uh great lash from maybelline and it's in a green and pink bottle and it's got a thinner brush because the thicker brush was just getting mascara all over my eyelashes so I needed a new one and it's really good I use it for cheerleading and stuff because I don't generally wear makeup that much um but yeah it's just amazing concealer uh, I don't really wear concealer because I don't actually wear makeup at school and I'm not wearing it now so I don't really use concealer uh, I use foundation my foundation is this one it is one step face base from virgin cosmetics in the shade honey i use this all over my face for like cheer competitions and stuff because it's really good at covering up and it gives you sort of a tanned complexion and stuff um, my eyeliner i use my holy grail eyeliner I don't think I actually have one. I don't generally wear eyeliner at all for like cheer competitions and stuff. I don't really use it and plus I can never do it by myself. But I, my eyeliner is um, Too True liquid eyeliner and it's just black colour. I don't know what the shade is but it's just black. So yeah, pretty basic. Nothing anyone else doesn't have. Um, number eight, favourite makeup product. My favourite makeup product is either this sleek palette in pumpkin. It's so pretty. It's got like an orange and a pink and a red shade. It gives you like rosy cheeks. It came out very bright. I was so surprised at that. Like, it came out so bright when I first used it. Like, it was so unusual. Like, I didn't think it would come out that bright. Or this um, lipstick from Topshop in Pillow Talk. I bought this when I was in New York on a school trip. It's so pretty. Like, I really like it. And... Um, it's not too bright, so it comes out nicely on my lips and stuff, which is good. Number nine, favourite milkshake flavour. I love milkshakes. And I had this from Shake Away and Splendid. You can get it from anywhere that makes custom milkshake flavours, but it is Kinder Bueno. Oh my god it is to die for like seriously if you get the chance to have one please do because it's just truly amazing and i really really need one right now like, it's making me hungry i really want one number 10 how many youtube channels are you subscribed to oh god i have flipping lost count on this one i don't even know, it doesn't give you a number 
on the subscribers list and I really don't know how many channels I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to all of the Brit crew of YouTubers. Um, quite a few American YouTubers plus Troy Sivan. Um, I have a few hairstyle ones but I don't really do much with my own hair. It's just because I like watching tutorials. Um, my friends that have YouTube and some of my subscribers that subscribe to me. If you're watching, I love you. Um, yeah, but I really don't know how many channels I'm subscribed to. Uh, and the last question, number 11. What's your all-time favourite song right now? That is so difficult. I really don't know what's my all-time favourite song at the minute. I'd either have to say King by Years and Years. It's a new song, it's really good. Or... Mm, Vegas Girl by Conor Maynard, because I really like that at the minute. I'm really loving that. Or Love Don't Die by The Fray. I found that song whilst doing my media coursework and it's just become one of my all-time favourite songs right now and it's just so good and Candy Sackler who's in the Vampire Diaries her husband Joe King is in the fray and she's in the video for Love Don't Die and it's just so cute and they're adorable and I just love them so much so yeah that's my favourite songs and I hope you enjoyed this video Please subscribe, like and comment on my videos if you enjoy them and I hope to see you next week. So, bye!